So I've, I've slept in this morning. It was really nice sleeping in. I don't want to come out. I still don't want to come out. So I'm sleeping on the side just fine like I normally sleep. On my right side. Hope you guys can hear me. It's, uh, so yeah, I'm totally on my right side and completely warm in here and there's no sleeping pad. It's just the sleeping bag and the out pad hammock. And then I use the uh, blue water utility cord. I think I'm gonna go with something a little bit, a little bit thicker. And I don't like the glow stuff. It has a texture to it that doesn't seem to hold knots as well. We'll see, but it's, it's held me up and I'm uh, almost 200 pounds in the 190s, so. Yeah, I guess I gotta get out of here and make some coffee. Oh. Way, way overslept this morning. Well, at this point, I got a mess here. I, uh, um, everything I need in reach, I try to make sure before I go to sleep that coffee is within reach. Look at all this space I have. Man, this is awesome. I have just enough water rationed for breakfast, for coffee. I'll check this in. I'm like, hey, I'm getting chilly. Yeah, it's getting chilly. All right. Get, so I need to get my feet out. I did have to get out and use the bathroom, but that's how it is. I, I, I got my eye on some and a light that'll uh, solve filming at night problem. I wasn't happy with the light that some of my other ones were putting out, but they're not made for, for videoing. Oh, speaking of, I'm gonna go to the bathroom again. I'll be back, don't mess with anything over there. I'm gonna keep my eye on you guys. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. A little mini vacation time on these overnighters like this. Can't beat it. Let's get this one going. So I got coffee. Still have a little water to sip on. A, and I always keep a small bottle of water back up. Cotton bandanas are the best. I uh, I got this cotton bandana on the Pacific Crest Trail in Idlewild, and uh, it was pretty crazy. It's like, you know, just California, definitely. And um, I took it because I, I don't have any use for a crazy bandana, so I took it and I made uh, these bags like this 
So it's just like a square bag with an open top, like a pillowcase. And I just use it to nest my pots. And then I always have nice cotton to use as a pot grabber, things like that. And in an emergency, I could always make it into char cloth if I really needed to. So I got my little angry troll pot from Mini Bull Design. It's a Foster's pot. I showed you guys that one. It's the flat bottom Foster's pot with the machined ring in the top. And it's got the silicone mouth guard and the, the fiberglass wicking so you can hold it when it's hot. Even has a nice little lid so you can boil water in this. I wouldn't cook in this, but but I would boil water in this and make uh, rehydrated things like potatoes or, or make coffee, stuff like that. So. Got my instant coffee. The wind's kicking up, it's chilly. Crazy. There may be a little noodle, little noodle left over in my uh, my coffee here. That's all right. Got a, that's all the alcohol I brought. We got the, this is the uh, carbon, carbon felt, mini bull design, windscreen. All right, so basically I got my one egg wonder with a lid and I'm just gonna put it on there. I have a container I just, with a paper napkin, brought a couple of eggs from home and a pat of butter. Check that out. I'm gonna save an egg for lunch. And uh, fry this one up. I wouldn't really leave a spoon like this, you know, in a hot pan for so long, so. All right, the water's boiling. Bring you guys back in. I got my egg cooking on the old choke hazard turbo. I've used that in other videos. And then you know, I've got the old snow peak. Coffee's ready to go. I'm just taking the, the old angry troll pot, the ATP. Get out of here, crows. Can't have any of my coffee. It's 
Sorry for the camera work. I only have two hands. Check that out. And I'm in need of some coffee. I think I got a twig in my... I think I did get a twig in. Turn this guy off. Try to get this twig. Flip my egg. This guy. Near miss. Perfect. What do you guys think? That's a choke hazard turbo. And the one egg wonder. And that's where you add the fuel if you need some more while you're cooking. Got the pot stand in there. Got my ATP. And the lid, what that's really good for is keeping stuff from blowing into your coffee while you're not drinking it. And uh, got the old 700 titanium snow peak. And then this is the custom, custom lid. This is a custom titanium lid. And I keep my hot lips around, like I said in another video, so that I can drink out of this one as a giant mug also. Just in case I need to share it and have coffee with somebody else. And this little fire maple stove. I like this guy a lot. I did another video the, when it was uh, there was a blizzard. I used this stove also. But there you go. The whole shebang. Just about out and my egg is done. And I still have a little fuel left. I can uh, save out of there. I can make a second pot of coffee on it. All right, so I'm gonna get busy with this. And uh, test, test, test. All right. So. I'm gonna wrap it up guys. Um, yeah, coffee's ready. My egg is perfect. It's a late morning, the sun is getting me. I have a feeling that, uh, yeah, it's uh, just nice to sleep in when you, when you don't have any responsibilities and uh, makes this time even more special. And it's gonna be even more special when I can bring Axel out here with me. And then there'll be other times that I don't bring him out here. And uh, same with Chief, because Chief can be a pain, you know, having to take care of him uh, when you're in the woods, especially when it's cold or things like that. You know, people don't realize you have to take care of animals. And, uh, you know, even shooting these videos, you have to take care of camera equipment and carry extra stuff. So anyway, there's a farm fresh egg and uh, yeah, I'm going to have my egg. Coffee. Cheers. And later on for lunch, I have uh, I have another egg and I have some other things to eat. I'm gonna have this guy with my coffee. This is the cinnamon brown sugar. Cheers. Got a nice seat here. Oh, that's so good.
Everything's drying out from all that rain. I'm gonna eat and pack up in a little bit. See you guys later. Simple breakfast. Got some Belvita cookies, cinnamon and brown sugar. Got an egg, coffee. I think I have a little mandarin orange or tangerine or something. I'll have that once I start walking. If you're wondering, I always have a bamboo knife or spoon. But I always keep some extra ones and I just use whatever I want to use. So, until this one breaks, that's what I'm using now. <laughs> Coffee, eggs, you know, this is exactly the, the same kind of thing I did on the Appalachian Trail and the Pacific Crest Trail. I would eat two eggs, you know, sometimes I'd time it with a dozen. I would eat two eggs today, this morning, two eggs at lunch, two eggs tomorrow morning, two eggs at lunch, you know, and that's already eight. And then you might share one or two and... You know, within the first day or two, you're not carrying a dozen eggs anymore. And I always carry, you know, carrots because you can eat them raw, pepper. And I, I eat that the first day out of town. We, uh, we eat lots of vegetables at home. We try to on the trail also. Out on the Pacific Crest Trail, I would have a uh, miner's lettuce. I would collect stacks of it and, and eat it. Sometimes it would slow my mileage down and I'd have to hike at night a little bit to catch up. Um, but, you know, I'd get to forage for all that fresh greenery. I would have it in my noodles, mixed in. I'd, I'd just eat it as a salad. It was so good. But this miner's lettuce in Southern California, up in the, the Sierras, well, no, not, not the Sierras, the, uh, around the San Jacintas and, and, uh, south of there. Well, coffee's almost out. Time to get packing. Let's save that sip for later. You guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you next time. Kind of been thinking about that boosted board and yeah, that's going to be fun when I get back. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, tell us what you think down below. Oh. Get outside and go do something.